If you would love to learn three ways on how to let go and surrender to the process, then stay tuned because I have some delicious goodness heading your way. I'm in serious trouble. I don't know what to do. I need an answer. Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time watching my name is Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist and today I'm going to be sharing some beautiful wisdom with you and this is so important because this literally transformed my whole entire life. I used to be someone that attracted low vibrational relationships and at time emotionally abusive and I allowed someone to literally treat me like a piece of crap. And I have since then learned to heal those blockages, learned to reprogram my vibration, trust in the universe, and now I'm about to be married to the most beautiful person in the whole wide world. So if I can do it, you can. So I hope you're ready for these three hot tips. Number one is all about trusting. Trust is so important. Infinite trust in the universe. And the reason I love this so much is because when you're born, you literally, if you go to an astrologer and give them your time of birth, your um, geological location, they can determine what your life path is going to look like. And if you haven't already had your astrology read, holy flippin' heck, it is incredible. And it's like the universe, when, you, when you're born, you have a predetermined path. And the universe is trying to guide you all along this beautiful path because this is what you need to learn and this is what you need to heal from during this lifetime. But sometimes what happens is we become very unconscious and we start fighting the universe and they're like, okay, you're not meant to be with this person. You're like, why? But I really love him and blah, blah, blah. And the universe is like, dude, do you know who is waiting for you on the other side? I have a really fabulous song that kind of summarizes this infinite trust so important. I'm a massive Carrie Underwood fan, especially her old work from Carnival. On her album Carnival, she has a song called Jesus Take the Wheel. The, the lyrics which says, Jesus take the wheel, take it from my hand, cause I can do this on my own. I'm letting go, so give me one more chance to save me from this road I'm on. From this road I'm on. And I love that song for so many reasons. It's like, yes, the universe, God, divine, source, whatever you want to call it. In this song, Carrie calls it Jesus. You know, it's like the universe can guide you, but you need to surrender to the process. And if you are not, then there is resistance in your vibration. And then that's when all the craziness happens. And that's why you, you know, end up in depression. You date the wrong person. You have financial issues, you know, all of these certain things. It's like you need to trust that everything that you are going through is literally preparing you for what you have asked for. And I know when this happens, it's like, and the universe throws in this detour or this divine intervention. It could be like um, somebody passing away or it could be um, oh, like you, you lost your job or maybe you didn't make enough money at work or whatever it could be. It's like sometimes the universe is going to take you on this little detour and in the moment where we feel that pain and anxiety and that anguish, it's like, okay, you, you can't see clearly, but, and then I heard that song, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's gonna be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be a bright sunshiny day as soon as you trust and you allow the universe to take you from where your current state of reality is, which is based on your current state of thinking, to take you to where you want to be, which We'll talk more about how to get there in a second. So that's number one, all about trust. Number two is all about releasing your blockages. That includes your limiting beliefs, like the belief systems that were ingrained within you, either from your parents when you were growing up, 
society, those people around you, and also how you view yourself, where you think you need to be. That is a massive one, and that is the whole reason I opened up my business, melaniekatelove.com, to literally help take you from where you are to where you want to be. And there's a lot involved in this one. Oh my goodness. That's the whole reason I created my Forgiveness Heals Guided Meditation on my website, why I created the Chakra Meditations on my channel. Um, my Self Love Starter Kit is another fabulous source, and very shortly I'll be opening, on, opening up my one on one online coaching business to help accelerate that healing stage because you know what? I did it by myself and I was like, oh my gosh, if only I knew about somebody who could help me heal and accelerate that healing. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy because by all means, think of it like you crying on the floor, releasing your pain, but it's beautiful because it's in that pain and it's in these times where you feel uncomfortable and you feel like, why the heck is this happening? Or why did this happen to me? This is when we move on to number three and we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything that has happened to you is literally a blessing in disguise. As horrific, as painful, and as traumatic as it was, it's literally led you to where you want to be. It took me seven years to heal myself from that toxic relationship. And then when I stemmed it back further and I was like, how did I manifest this guy? Why was I a vibrational match? And then I'm like, okay, if I go back further and I look at my childhood, I was like, what kind of child created an adult that attracted a toxic, emotionally abusive relationship? And I was like, oh my goodness. It was like the biggest aha moment. I was like, okay, I saw the relationship between my parents and the way that they treated us. And I was like, oh my God. There's the blockage and I am so grateful for my childhood. Yes, there were moments where, you know, it wasn't pleasant, but I say this to my dad all the time. I'm getting emotional now. I said, I said to my dad the other day, I didn't think I was gonna cry, oh my God. I'm still working through this blockage because if you can talk about something and not cry, then you're fully healed and I'm still healing. And I said to him on the phone the other day, I said, I am so grateful for everything that you have done for me, both consciously and unconsciously, because you, you literally created the person that I am today. If it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't be teaching you on YouTube right now. I wouldn't have manifested Peter because I saw the contrast of my parents of what not to do. And I said to my dad, like, thank you so much. And he was a bit taken back. He was like, oh shit, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize I helped you without realizing that he helped me. And then he felt bad for everything that had happened. I was like, dad, like, I'm so grateful because I learned to break that cycle. I broke the cycle because I know that when Peter and I have children, that I will not be my parents. And Peter and I are definitely not my parents because I made sure I manifested someone who hadn't experienced emotional trauma. And um, and I just I just sent so much love and gratitude and it took me so long to get to where I am. And after this recent crazy um, solar eclipse that we had um, recently, it brought up a lot of things. And I feel like me being back home with my parents because my angel's like, you need to move back home. I was like, what the fuck? You know, I'm growing 31 year old woman and I'm engaged to the beautiful, most beautiful man in the world. Why the heck do I have to go back home? And then I realized on the solar eclipse after this massive divine intervention in our family and it was painful in every possible way and it just shook our family dynamics up, but it was meant to happen for a reason. And I just said, thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's so much involved in the healing journey. It's having infinite trust, letting Jesus take the wheel. It's like, okay, if this is what needs to happen, I trust you. I surrender to the process because it's going to set me free. And it's also about releasing my blockages. Okay, keep releasing those blockages. What else do you need to know? And say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything that you are going through right now is literally preparing you for what you have asked for. Like, my dad literally helped me along with, if you watch my um, live, Q&A Tea Time Live at the New Moon, when I met the guy who 
fix my car because um, I got a flat tire, which was in Mercury Retrograde, which deals with communication, travel, and transport. And it was like the guy that fixed my car was sexually abused when he was younger. Um, and I was like, oh my God, I think I've worked out what my niche is. It's like, who the hell do I help? I went through all the fluffy bullshit going, I help you learn to love yourself, trust you, intuition and manifest your heart's desi desires. And I was like, okay, that's amazing. But where are these people coming from? And when I went back and I, I don't know, I just had like another awakening and it was painful, but it was so beautiful. <laughs> and it was just like, everything that I have been through, like I'm a primary school teacher and then I went into working with children in foster care and I saw so much childhood trauma and then I went into youth work and which was linked with um, Department of Child Safety. I think you got, I don't know what you guys call it over wherever you are in the world, but basically dealing with children whose parents were not willing or able to look after them. And it was like, I've done so many of these different things trying to help people heal and it's no wonder why I started specializing in childhood trauma without realizing I was doing that. And I worked out that you, the guy, the people that I'm attracting to my work are people that have the same thing, like you guys right now watching. I learned that through the market research that I've been doing through my one-on-one -on -one online coaching. I've chatted to about 37 of you guys at the best three weeks ever. And it was incredible to see that like, Oh my God, I've attracted all these little Mel clones all the way around the world very unconsciously because I just started sharing my message and I started attracting my vibe, like my vibe attracts my drive. And it was just so interesting and it really hit home recently. And I was like, I'm so grateful for all my pain. I'm so grateful because it's led me to where I am today. And I am so flipping excited. So I just wanted to share those things with you. Um, but please comment down below. I surrendered to the process and set myself free. Comment that down below. I wanna see comment after comment after comment. And also, can you then do a little dash and type, where are you in the world? Like, I surrendered to the process and set myself free, dash Mel from Australia. Like, I just wanna be able to scroll down and go, doo -doo 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 -doo. I wanna see where you're at. Wherever you are in your journey, my love, please know that everything is working out for you. I just wanted to say that I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I didn't know that it was going to be as um, emotional. <laughs> um, but it's interesting whenever I talk about my family and especially about what's been going on recently, it's like, oh, this is real life, you know? Then it's fine to cry, you know? I love that I cry because I never used to cry. My mum used to say, like, why don't you cry? And I remember I first, the first movie I ever cried in was Pearl Harbor. And now I'm teaching you guys how to release your blockages and break that cycle of abuse. So you raise beautiful conscious children who are aware of their emotions and they know how to self-regulate themselves, how to heal themselves, especially when life falls apart. That is the most powerful thing because you know it can be all flipping bloody good when things are going well but it's like how can you heal yourself how can you take extra care of yourself when things go wrong anyways my love if you have any other further video ideas please let me know down below because i'm going to be starting um, um to talk more about the art of letting go so um yeah i love you so much and i'll see you soon goodbye